ITR boxing. You heard it here first. Pretty cool videos. And I heard they're also in HD. ITRboxing.com. Um, great fighter, man. He's one of the best fighters I've seen in a long time, especially coming out of out of the, um, the amateur circuit. He's special. Ugly as a motherfucker. <laughs> I caught him with that hook. Hey, you see it coming. Hey, hey. I, man, look, I planted that joint too. I tried to take his head off. I was like, mm. I tried to. Oh, uh, man, I started when I was seven years old. Um, My dad put me in boxing. You know, I used to fight a lot in school and just fight a lot outside, really. And he was going to put me in when I was eight or nine, but he put me in early just because I used to fight a lot. And it's more of a family thing, too. My cousins and uncles on my dad's side was boxers. Yeah! About to fuck some shit up today, huh, boy? Yes, sir. I say after, like, my third fight, um, when I, I lost my first fight, and then I lost my second fight, and then my third fight, uh, you know, I won, and then after that, I just kept winning, and I was just getting better and better. I was catching on pretty fast, and um, I was like a fast learner when I first started. And when I when I first started in the gym, uh, it was kids there already there that had experience over me. So, you know, uh, just being around the environment, I had older kids there. Uh, Raynell Williams, uh, 2008 Olympian, he was there. Just watching them and just learning from them, I just picked up a lot. And then going to going to tournaments like Silver Gloves, JOs at a young age, you know, I just you know I had a real good um, act for it. Right now I'm I'm at the uh, last chance qualifiers for the um, 2020 uh, Olympic trials. Um, right now I'm in the quarterfinals uh, fighting today. Um, then tomorrow. Tomorrow I got uh, semifinals. Then Saturday I got the finals. Then you know, making it to the 2020 trials. You're one of the best in the country. What's this? One of the best in the world. <laughs> in the world. <laughs> but yeah, you know the Olympic trials is in December, so right after this I'll be you know back in the gym getting ready for that. Um, well I was supposed to go to the Western trials. And uh, in March, but what happened was they, um, I ended up going to the Pan American Games, so I couldn't, I wasn't able to go to that. And then the Eastern Trials, I had just came home from uh, uh, World Championships, so I mean things didn't really work out right at uh, Eastern Trials. I didn't make weight, but um, yeah, so now I'm here at the last chance. Uh, I mean, I mean it's it's horrible, man, where I'm from, man, like. I mean, it's real hard to make it out of uh, Cleveland, Cleveland, Ohio. It's like real hard to, you know, if you want to be successful, man, you got to pretty much, and anything you want to do, you pretty much got to like separate yourself from, from Cleveland really, man. If you want to, if you want to stay focused and, you know, dedicated and stuff, you got to, you got to stay out the way really and just take, take care of what you got to do. Uh, my dad, man, he, he been on me since I first started. Like it's been times I wanted to quit. And, you know, he just, you know, he been there to, like, pick me up and stuff. You know, it's been, it's a lot of tournaments, man, that I missed because we couldn't afford to go. And, you know, I wanted to quit and stuff like that. So, you know, he just always been there to to keep me motivated. Yeah, man, it's it's pretty tough, man. Like, you got to, like, in amateur boxing, I mean, you got to have money, man, for the tournaments. And it's really like a, it's really like a team, it's really like a team thing. So, like, you got to, like, sometimes you got to depend on your coach and, you know, when I when I when I was coming up, when I was coming up, uh, my coach was uh, Clint Martin. He had passed away a couple years ago, but um, we used to have like this. We used to have like this system where like all the parents just chip in for like the hotels and food and stuff, so that way we can afford to go to the different tournaments. But um, but yeah, like it's been certain tournaments, man. Like you know, like it's been times that I was like the only kid in the gym, still you know still training and stuff like that. So. I couldn't go to tournaments by myself. So I had to like, me and my dad had to come out of our pockets to um, go to like national, uh, you know, go to ringside or go to the piles. Just any, you know, tournaments that uh, we couldn't go to as a team. 
Yeah, and it was like it was real tough, man, coming up with the money. I had to go. I had to go to uh, different teams and ask them, like you know, for help, stuff like that. So it was it was tough. But then um, my I, I won my first uh, my, I won my first belt at uh, ringside, 2010, and that was the first tournament um, that I went with another team uh, with. So. Uh, it was tough, man, coming up with the money, man. Like we, man, we was, you know, struggling every day, man, coming up with the money, man. Like just finding ways to come up with the money, and we, right at the last second, we, uh, we was able, we was able to go to it. I got my first belt there. Then the next year, did the same thing. Got, got my second belt there. Um, yeah, then silver gloves. I made it to silver gloves nationals. Like what was it 2012, I think, or 2011. And we couldn't afford to go. I, I, think I, was the, I was the only person that made it to Nationals, I think. And we couldn't afford to go, so I had to miss that. And then uh, that next year was my last Silver Gloves that I went to, and I lost in the Nationals against uh, Danny Gonzalez. And that was my last Silver Gloves. Um, I guess winning my first gold medal um, when I was on the youth team, I uh, got a gold medal in the World Championships. We had went to uh, St. Petersburg, uh, Russia, and I got my first uh, gold medal there. Tonight, man, I'm gonna get the job done, man. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna do my thing as usual. You know, get the win, move on to the next day. Just keep it going. I mean, I just wanna just really just you know get paid, really, man. Just take care of my family. You know, just be successful. Uh, uh, thanks for supporting me. Uh, tune in and I'm going to bring home that gold medal.